Sharjah International Travel and Tourism Forum focuses on smart tourism. Today, uh, during such platforms, uh, we, we have insights through our uh, panels and uh, specialists and experts in the tourism industry from different organizations, especially like the UNWTO, the World Travel and Tourism Council, uh, the other uh, local government uh, authorities and the private sector, because we work hand in hand to succeed, to achieve our goals. So it's very important to see and get insights of what, how does the future look like after all of these changes and where is the potential. First of all, I would like to uh, start by talking about the Moon Retreat, which is uh, our latest uh, addition to the Sharjah collection. It sits in the, we just opened a month ago and it sits in the middle of the desert of Al-Faya, uh, close, uh, close to Mleha where uh, history goes back to 125,000 years. So the idea of uh, the idea of the Moor Retreat is about our luxurious glampings. I think we have great perspective uh, to develop tourism between our uh, countries and especially between Sharjah and Cherkasa region. This year, our country uh, got uh, twice uh, people who came from Emirates to visit Ukraine, even. Uh, uh, to, to the compared to the figures which we had before a pandemic. Emirates discusses the optimistic outlook of their network. Definitely, and we're seeing many European, many people coming from United States into Dubai today. We definitely need to see uh, a faster uh, reopening happening from the Asia side, which is still the lagging behind. But but we all believe that within six months to come, things will change and will change more positively, and they will go through the opening. Uh, we have seen a major change as well happen in. Uh, subcontinent area uh, which is the only I think play that we want to see more opening coming from uh, from India and once that will happen definitely I think will add uh, more value to our network and to Dubai as well uh, Australia already joined the club and um, with two cities already uh, Melbourne and Sydney uh, and hopefully Brisbane and Perth will join again in the near futures Radisson Hotel Group debuts its third brand in Morocco with the signing of Lincoln Casablanca. Deutsche Hospitality celebrates the opening of an intercity hotel in Dubai.